All right, welcome to Shea Spiritual Insight. So glad everyone is here. And I love the background Matthew has. We were just talking about it. He uploaded it. Um, everyone's background is good. So I, tonight I don't have a lot to talk about except I wrote a post about the sentient ones, which are some beings I met way back in 2009, 2010, when I, my direction was during this time was to just go higher until I was told to do otherwise. So I just kept going higher and higher and higher into the etheric realm. And at some one point, finally, I, I met these, these beings and they're just wonderful beings. And they're kind of a demarcation point, but I'm not going to give away more than that because that's going to be in the next post. So they're just these wonderful beings. And it was kind of humorous meeting them. Um, just, it was real special. And they're, they're these golden beings. They look like eggs and they just radiate light and love. So I'm going to leave it at that. So without further ado, how is everyone tonight? Good. <laughs> Three thumbs up over the Kathy and dad. That's great. I love it. Okay. Well, you know, I guess what we'll do is we'll start. I'm going to start reverse order this time and on the screen because Marcy always seems to be the last person there to get asked. So I'm going to jump in there, Marcy, and tell us, you know, I'll share what you're happening and any questions you might have. Oh, boy. Well, it's really stormy here. I don't know if you guys have that, but just wild weather intense. Really? Oh, so, yeah. Um, so for that reason, I haven't been on the land. I've been in town for like a whole week. And um, it's been interesting. It's kind of like I can see like the metaphors playing out, you know, being like in the heart of the island right at this time, because it seems like we're we're kind of in this little energetic period right now that's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, you know, kind of, a, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. A lot of stuff leaving. I'm feeling a lot of stuff leaving. Um, things seem to be getting more, um, more refined, you know, like subtler, mm -hmm. um, you know, the experiences and the energetics and that. Um, this morning was pretty cool because right before I woke up or before I got up, there was a kind of a, well, I hadn't really had it before. It was really clear. It was mm -hmm. in my, you know, in my, in my awareness, I was really clear. And, and so right before um, everyday consciousness comes in, I could actually see like a, a veil of gray come over like the right side of my body mm -hmm. about thirds of the way. And that was what was creating the world. You know, the, the I, the me, the you, the this and that, all of that. That was what was creating it. Before that, it was just the being, the awareness. And, and so I was, I was playing with it, seeing if I could have, um, if I could stay more just in the awareness without mm -hmm. that coming in. I don't know what, I don't really know exactly how it works. I don't know if it's magnetic, if it's chemical, if it's, I mean, I mean that's, it's all just part of the play, but, but it was, um, I can see that's where all of this is going, is being able to work with that um, I thought it was interesting though that it that I could feel it come over the right side of my body because for so many years I have felt like the right side of my body didn't have the same energetics as the left side and um, it, it was it's like a numbing it's almost like a numbing like a yeah like a numbing like a chemically kind of feeling mm -hmm. that um, creates you know, this whole picture of the world and everything. So I don't know where I'm going with that. It was just a cool thing and I'm just sharing it. And it, whatever you see, Jeff, I leave it to you. I know you, if you can share something that'll be helpful, you will. 
Well, one of the things as you were talking about the energies, there's, as we've talked about before, Hawaii, because it has these earth energies manifesting in, in you know, active volcanoes. And it's actually a beautiful energy that's coming in. And so you have these creative earth energies coming in, fostering our own creative aspects, as well as what I'm seeing as you were talking, simultaneously, these energies coming down, these creative energies corresponding from the etheric realm for what Mother Earth is doing and is bringing in. And of course, that is going to create new connections, raise, constantly raise the frequency and cause, especially with you, because you're, you were guided to be there in Hawaii to do some of the, the inner spiritual work that your conscious mind may not fully know about. And so lots of things are happening that are just, I would say, intuitive, intuitive, energetic, experiential, and just to flow with them. Stay centered and flow with them, which you seem to be doing. So keep it up. That's what I have. Not yeah, I, I, Go ahead. Well, it, you know, I, I was telling Pat the other day, it's kind of like, I have, I have like this sense. It's like, okay, you, you know, enough has happened. It's okay if you come back to the mainland, you know, just for a visit kind of thing. And in one way, I'll get like, you know, little signs from the universe. Yeah, it's all right. And then in the next instant, It'll be like, no, stay the course, stay the course. <laughs> yeah, and that's kind and of I don't know. What you, yeah, go what you talked about last time. That's that's indeed what's happening. Yeah, go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know if it is that like a, just a, um, something that still needs to be something clarified, or is it a time timing thing? More of what's going on on a bigger scale, or because we're at the end of the of the period that you spoke of last time, mm -hmm. for me anyway, about the end of it. And so it's kind of like, hmm, I didn't really get, I mean, things are more refined for sure. And, and in some ways a lot easier um, in resting and being, but there's not like, uh, and I guess maybe there's not supposed to be any big aha or a big, okay, now do this or anything. It's just still floating. Yeah, it's an unfoldment. So my answer is to make it short and non, not as detailed as I sometimes get, which I'm working on very much keeping it that way, um, is, is that you think of all these, these different threads that are happening, all these different energetic threads of learning that are in your life. And they're, they're spiritual and energetic, and some relate to your, your physical life, some are your inner life, and so on and so forth. Many of the threads are complete. So those threads are feeling like, yes, we can, you, you can energetically, you can sense, yeah, I can go back, but the other ones need to finish up what they're doing. And what I've noticed, and I don't know how to say it, things have like so accelerated. We just finished one level of, of things ramping up and they get just enough integrated and then we're moving into the next one. It's a new one's moving in. It's a, it's a golden as the last one. It's more gentle, but it's moving in again. And I think that's going to continue for a while. And, it's, and, and I think it's because if we're ready for it, it's wonderful to get it. Sometimes there's an aha moment, but I think it is because things are not complete. These, there's some threads of things that you started to do. M many of them have completed, but some of them have yet to finish up. And that once they get to the point, I think you're going to be 99% there. There might be some little thing that says, oh, I want to stay behind, but you'll be able to decide, yeah, I'm going to go anyway. I'm going to go back to the mainland for a while. But it's important to finish up energetically, have this all wrapped up and kind of incomplete before you move on. So you don't bring in other energies that would, um, I don't want to say interfere with it, but would kind of diffuse it a bit. Okay. So, okay. Good, yeah. good, deal. good deal. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank you for sharing. And I'm still envious that you're in Hawaii, even if it's windy and stormy, you know, I bet you there's not a bit of snow on the beach. So, <laughs> there's not one bit of it. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, let me move. I'm just, I saw Greg jumped in here. We're doing this reverse order this time so that we don't always do it the same from top to bottom because it seem, people seem to be on top and the same people always seem to be on the bottom of my screen. So, Greg, do you have anything to share or anything to ask? Actually, I was trying to think of something beforehand, and I'm I'm blank. I don't have anything to add. 
or ask at the moment. Well, how's your weather there? Oh, it's unseasonably warm. Yeah. And dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's a nice, it's nice more often there because it's the high plains in the winter than, than you know, like it is here in, in Western Montana. So. It, right. They it, say we, yeah. we've been 50 to 20 degrees warmer than typical. So it's been actually quite warm. Wow. Well, good. <clears throat> Well, if you think of something, we can come back and you can please do ask. Okay. All right, Matthew. Do you have anything to share or anything? Yes. Like? Can you hear me okay? Um, you're kind of breaking up a little bit. Oh, gosh. I jumped off the, my computer was about to run out of juice, so I'm on to my cell phone. That's better. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Um, updates. Yeah, my, my classes are going super well. It's been a bit of um, an intense week or two with the mm -hmm. quarter coming to an end on um, studying process work, which is a wonderful, I'm really enjoying it, sort of this beautiful uh, blend of Jungian psychology and dreams and mm -hmm. spirituality and oh my gosh. And so uh, it's just uh, uh, been a lot of unfoldings and awakenings and understandings so just really excited and then i just finished talking with i had a a session with my my um, mentor for preceptorship and so i got to do a little process work and then that just finished and so uh, my alarm went off for the the call today and i'm like oh that's right there's there's the, the q a here so yes happy happy to be here those are those are kind of my my updates wow well i know i'm excited you're doing such um for the medical field, I just think a lot of this is going this, this direction. And I was talking to someone, I, down in Kalispell anyway, and we were talking about medical field and, and traditional medicine. I said, listen, when I lived in the Pacific Rim for a, a number of years and, and then years went by and went there again. And, and traditional doctors there have no problem at all thinking about doing non-traditional work, whether it be acupuncture or herbal or uh, homeopathy or whatever it is, it's part of their thinking and, and, and they wow. integrate it into their medicine. And I just really believe we really need to start going there a lot more. And, and the kinds of things you're doing may not be exactly in those areas, but they're absolutely part and parcel where I things need to go. Yes, absolutely. And in, in my background in integrative medicine, it's, um, it's so true. I think sometimes it's a little bit slower here in, in the U.S. to, mm -hmm. to really, you know, open up for, for acupuncture and, and all those uh, sort of other modalities that are kind of seen as alternative. But at the same time, there's, um, uh, gosh, a, a movement, I think, that, that's afoot. And Dr. Weil, my teacher through, through the, his program in Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, he, he describes it as a grassroots movement that might uh, unfold in the United States as more and more... Um, healers come forth with with these approaches and working as a team and and so excited to see how that all unfolds for sure i think so and people are moving that direction we just had a doctor here in town um start a practice uh both traditional and some non-traditional uh medicine uh, appro med medical approaches which is so exciting and wow. people are yearning it and the more people want it it's like organic food it was 30 yes. years ago you could barely find it now it's carried everywhere everyone has it so. That's true. I was just thinking the same exact analogy. It's so true. And so I think yeah, with time, you're absolutely right. And this is so cool because this comes from some of that early work that uh, uh, the chiropractor there uh, in Eureka, Dr. Uh, um, Kimmy, yeah, is that McKinney. right? Yes. Was able to, to do with the chiropractor. McKinney. Yeah, McKinney. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he did that and a whole lot more. We all learned to... Um be very attentive when he was speaking and doing things because all kinds of things would happen and he wouldn't necessarily tell you about them right away. It might happen. You might find out the next session or you might find out about it six months later when things changed in your life, but he was certainly a powerful healer. So absolutely. Wow. It's where things Beautiful. are. That's great. Do you have any questions or anything Thank you. or any other thoughts? Uh, 
questions just uh you know i'm trying to set the intention for uh for the new year and um you know thinking about uh getting my my business up and going um and really moving forward with that uh haven't really settled on where to put down some roots um so so i think um probably set things up to do just telehealth visits for now but um at some point really wanting to to be a part of an integrative truly integrative wellness center or something so, yeah, yeah that so just kind of seeing it'll be interesting to see how that all unfolds and it looks like it to, to as you were talking about it it looks like it i'm seeing it kind of it's a cloud and it's beginning to gel a little bit but there's still pieces coming in some things kind of falling away a little bit so it's still evolving but your intention the universe is certainly hearing it and as you become clearer and as you get closer um, and, and it'll just, I think it'll somewhat naturally unfold. Although um, it, my sense is it's, and I, I, I think this is just part of your path and part of what's for your, for the highest good of all is it may go a little slower than you may want at some certain points coming up, but be patient because that it needs the time for, for some things to come in that haven't quite, you're not there yet. It's a timing thing. That makes sense. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Well, thank you, Matthew. It's so exciting to have just everyone here. All right. Franny, do you have anything to share or anything to ask or both? Sure. Well, first of all, I'm missing Matthew's Zoom background. So I just got to say that. It was awesome, wasn't it? Yes. We love it. Um. Jeff, I read the article on the sentient ones, and, um, you know, I just have a little inkling of um, the wisdom and the, the ages that are represented there. Like, these are really, really old beings, you know? Um, and I, I guess what I wanted to share was just that as I was reading, and this was this was before work, and my mornings are always sort of, you know, like a feel like a Tasmanian devil whirling around the house <laughs> trying to get ready. Um, so it wasn't a time when I could drop in and meditate or anything, but I read the article and I could feel the energy transmission coming through. So I just wanted to let you know that because um, it was pretty darn strong. And even though the article's short, it's really clear that you're anchoring that energy and able to um, transmit it with all of us. Yes, and out of the blue, I mean, really, I mean, they've been silent, they haven't been silent. I've talked to them off and on, but they, they kind of felt like they wanted to be in their own, stay in their own realm and, and people who come to their level will, will and then they will greet them and, and do the things they do. And they said they wanted to be an, uh, introduced to the world outside of the bounds of a book. And I said, okay. So that's how they ended there. And we have another, um, there will be another uh, follow on a written article coming up in the next week or two about them that talks more about why they're here. But you're right, they're very ancient. They're tied to wisdom and there's so much depth to them. And they, they show you what you're ready for when you first meet them. And then when we're ready for more, they'll show you more. So, and it's, but they're incredibly, well, remember when I first saw them, I could barely see their, the, they, the egg shape was all I could see because of the brilliance of the golden energy coming off of them. And um, they certainly unique beings. So thank you for sharing. Sure. Do you, have, do you have anything to ask or anything before we move I on? I do, I have a question all for right. you. Um, in one of our uh, private conversations, we were talking about, um, uh, all of my vehicle problems. And mm -hmm. I, you know, had three big breakdowns within a week, within, I don't know how many days, but within a week's time. And, uh, you know, so up and down and up and down and lots of challenges with that. Um, <clears throat> one of the things you said was that um, the, the your vehicle is a metaphor for your body or something like that. Correct. So, yes. Say that again. Through your life. It's the vehicle that we use to walk our path. Whereas a house can also represent the body, but it talks, about, that's the cycle, the levels of the mind. It's more of the architecture of our body. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, so then, you know, the question, the question that I have to ask is if my car is breaking down, does that mean my body's breaking down? And I do have some things I'm giving greater attention to, um, but could you answer that question? And then maybe I'll follow up with something. All right. I, I think it's a little bit of the reverse, although that you're having some things manifest and I, I'm going to, we've talked about this before. But archetypally, you know, that Jungian, I'm going to say it right, Jungian um, work that the female body, and I'm going to digress just for a second, in, in, in mythologies and in ancient mythologies where the top goddess or the top god was a goddess, her body is the world. Now we would say her body is the universe. Basically, her body represents creation. And I have noted... I've become aware of this over the years and I've watched it time and time again, that th that things that are coming to our lives are energetic, obviously. They're part of our path and then they crystallize them and, and, and then manifest into our lives. And what I've noted more so with women than men, and that's a gross generalization because some men, I've seen it with them too, but as these issues, these things are being released, there's things, for example, what we talked about your car, energetically, it's associated with the many events of your life. And inwardly, your inward connections within your mental body and your experiential bodies, energetically. And it's time to go. The universe really made that clear as you were talking that it, it's time for that car to go. Now, what's happened to some of those energies um, are uh, old patterns and they're manifesting in your body. I see it happen with Deborah. She, she has that happen where if some energy is in her life, it's manifesting. And you could say it's metaphorical, but it will literally manifest into her body and it will manifest, if not addressed, into the events of her life. And that's what's happened with you. So I'm gonna say it's a little bit of the reverse in that these old energies are ready to go. And because they haven't gone yet, because you still have the, the car and some other things associated with it, um, when you let those go, those energies will go and it will make the space for things to clear up. It'll just unplug them, so to speak. It'll just become unplugged from your um, mental body and your energetic associations and some of your, um, we call it the energetic attachments or, or emotional baggage and it's an energetic baggage and it will just fall away and the new energies will be able to come in and replace that. And some of the things you're seeing are going to become better. So the, rest, the reason why it's happening is because the universe is really uh, trying to, in a big way, and, and for reasons that I'm not entirely clear, it's being kept from my knowing, which means it's not for me to, to know because they don't want me to share it, but it's for you to do this. And just, and we, as we've talked about before, both in these sessions and have talked about in various settings, my mentor, June, used to talk about, she has it in one of her chapters of her books, talking about giving away the stuff. When we hold on to things, clothes, store away in closets and stuff stuffed in the garage where we have a garage full of stuff and we can't put the car in there. That holds on, energetically holds on. We have energetic attach, attachments to it outwardly through acro cords and energy cords and inwardly through our own inner connections. And when we release them, we release the outer cords and we release the inner connections and it makes way so the new patterns can come in, make space for them. And they're waiting and they're definitely waiting for you. Thank so you. that's why. Thank you. All right. That makes great sense. So <laughs> do you have a follow on or? Yeah, that's okay. Well, I am I'm glad you asked. And it's so important that we do that when we're being guided to. And I'm and I will tell you that there's, and I think we all ha have it happen to us. I'll say, you know, my higher guidance will say, oh, you need to do something. I'll say, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. And then a week later, they'll need you, you know, nudge me again, maybe a month later. And then finally they say, okay, he's not listening. So things then start manifesting and he could be my body or into my life. Events start happening. I say, why is this happening? It's like, oh, well, hmm. It's because this thing here is in my life. It needs not to be, it needs to be released. So the new patterns can come in. And this is the result of old patterns manifesting. So, and it happens to everybody. So I guess the idea is, is as, as the universe and our mm -hmm. higher guidance nudges us, whatever it is, whether it's a diet or some, a job or whatever it is, um, 
do our best to follow it as we can. So thank you for bringing yeah. that up. It's a wonderful thing. Just a follow-up comment is that, um, you know, you mentioned that the car is tied to old energies or old events, or, you know, it's part of events in my life. There's, so that, that chapter, those energetic attachments, those experiences, um, I'm letting go of that. And then there's at least two other pretty significant experiences that um, are coming to a close. They're coming to a close. And I don't know exactly when, but um, it's like there are several chapters that are ending several. So it's it feels like a convergence of um, uh, a lot of things. I'll just say it that way that, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff that will be ending. That's true. And we tie, we covered a lot of stuff in the conversation, but those, and I know what those other things are, and you're right, those are coming to a close. And the universe is really, I, I've seen this from time to time, is really pushing you, is really making it, the universe is the one that told me, and I mean the universe as a capital U universe consciousness, really made it clear, this is, it, it really has built up to the point where, you know, in practical sense, we want to hold on to things and keep using the car as long as we can or whatever it is, but it really is time. And, and I know you're aware of that. And these other two things, and there's a kind of a third thing beyond the car as well, I think that you're aware of, I'm not sure we've talked about, but it's, it's coming, um, kind of wrapping up probably after these other two and, and, and come to a close and put this chapter in a bow, because this is really necessary for these energies that are that have been coming in, which have actually kind of facilitated this very event, just so you know, and the new ones coming in that are, well, I can reverse it. So you guys, from your point of view, coming in and going this way, um, they're beautiful and they're smooth and they're gentle and they're integrated and they're going to help the world. But it's so important that we flow with it because all of us, those of us that are really connecting with the energies and the light, we're anchoring this in for not only onto the earth, raising their earth's frequency, but we're also, it's kind of the person who's the way shower, the, making the, the path through the jungle so that others can follow behind it. And so all, all of us in, in this group and other groups, it's really important that we do this, that we do, because it really does help. Not only do we help ourselves, but we help the planet and our soul group as well. So thank, thank you. you. All right, Dan. And Kathy, I only see Dan right now. Is Kathy still there? She, she's, oh, there she is. Oh, okay, there we are. I love it. So do you have anything to share or anything to ask them both? And I'm sorry about the, I keep pressing the table. My camera is a little bumpy today or something. I need to put it on a sponge or something. <laughs> I don't know, just... Uh... Kind of like Greg, I was trying to think of something, you know, a witty question to come up with. And um, I don't know, I kind of drawn a blank, but what I do have mm -hmm. that you might want to touch on is um, I've been uh, going through this thing about belief, you know, our belief systems. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, uh, you know, looking at the world and I, I I, uh, I'm not being able to believe like 90% of it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I guess a question would be, um, you know, I don't want to believe that 90%, but yet it, it's still there. So what do I do about that? <laughs> My answer would be uh, actually two things. One, keep doing what you're doing. The process you're in is leading you to the connections and realizations that help foster your own what's true for you and understanding why things are the way they are for others not that you have to agree with that you can but you can understand and um, perceive why others have it the way they are um, i don't know if you were read the article awareness and beliefs um, it's not exactly what you're going through yours is a little different but it talks about awareness and beliefs and how they affect us but you mm -hmm. are in that process because of life events that have happened to you in the past and have facilitated your ability to, to live from that connection. And ultimately, as we are guided in the moment by our high self and our higher guidance, the universe, we let go of beliefs. And uh, Swami Kriyananda talked about this in the essence of the Bhagavad Gita. It's a big book I got. Anyway, it's about the, the not the Quran. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> not that one. But anyway, it uh, it talks about the you know the, the Hindu text there, and it and it and it really walks you through it. And basically, as as a person moves towards mastership and illumination, it's like smoke. The, the, what's left of the belief systems and ego are like um, sm the little bit of smoke around the flames of a fire. When you're in a body, there's going to be some remnants of ego. There's going to be some amount of of just so those energies just so you can live in the body but there's very little of it and we're all in the process of doing it you're doing it in your own way so i would say just keep doing what you're doing and if i can switch subjects and you came on as you were talking um your high self wants you to start taking more vitamin c um it, it's for your teeth um. Yeah, what to do it on a consistent basis for and, and Kathy obviously will just like Deborah always tells me all my nutritional needs, Kathy, and you probably will tell too, but you're going to need to do it for a month or two, you need to do this prolonged. you've got some long term long cycle stuff going on that I'm not sure that you're aware of maybe you are and it, 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 don't need to talk about it here but uh, you can go ahead and test for your the, the amount you need to take each day. Um, but your high self wants you to start that and possibly um some supplemental magnesium as well and, and but you can test for the things you need yeah okay thank you thank you you're welcome kathy do you have anything oops i'll just scooch over here <laughs> yeah just push them out of the way yeah I know, there we go <laughs> there we go <laughs> our tiny house oh my goodness oh, oh, i so love your to, tiny house so good to see everybody and hear everybody yeah. um i was really glad that we we're able to get on tonight. Um, I don't really have a question. Mm -hmm. um, I would just share that for a, a couple months now, at least maybe even three, that just the visions that I've been getting um, are increasing about just, um, I don't know, some of them are really tough to mm -hmm. see. Um, and so I don't know if I'm having metaphors or if i'm actually seeing some things that are going to be coming up um i did get a pretty ominous message from the wind the other night um but the crick has been lighter i guess i should say mm -hmm. so i know we've kind of um crested some stuff yeah but like i loved your analogy last time well at um, the seminar, I guess, where you talked about how we've had the earthquake, we're still waiting for the effects of the tsunami. Yes. And I love that because that's what I feel like that the earthquake has happened, but we haven't seen the ramifications of everything yet. And I think some of the stuff I'm seeing has to do with what still is going to manifest with that. Um, so some of it's been a little tough um, to see. Um, yeah, yeah, so I guess that's just where I'm at. <laughs> and so in, in economics, that's called lagging indicators. It's where something happens in the industry as a, at large, and then the ripple effect happens. You know, the price yeah. of oil goes up, and then a, a month later, whatever, the price goes up, whatever it is. And you're right, that is what's happening. But I want to share with you with something so awesome. And in fact, it became the divine was telling me as you were speaking this new wave that's coming in this beautiful threads and threads and threads and threads. It's like fine silk, yeah. golden energy. You probably are seeing it. It's mitigating some of these energies coming in that, that the lagging indicator, the waves, if you want, of like the earthquake tsunami thing where that it's, it's rippling it out and people can choose as a group what they want to do. Um, some of so some of that, what you're seeing is at the soul group level and at the social level. Also, now when you said metaphor, boy, did you ever nail that one? That is yeah. absolutely true. You've got some stuff, and it, I've been seeing it for, been aware of it for a few years, but it, it needed to come up at the right time. You know how that is. Timing is everything in spiritual circles, and I think just in life. And you have some stuff left over from a life, and we can talk privately about it, that mm -hmm. is akin to it's being released, and now it, let's say, it resonates the thing that uh, the opportunities that are happening in your life now resonate with this. And so it's kind of, act, I don't want to use the word activated, but it's being released. It can manifest into your greater life 
And you can allow that to happen, but it does not have to happen. And part of your low self concerns about that. I want, not I want, your high self wants you to know, <laughs> higher guidance wants you to know that it doesn't have to be that way, but that's what it's about. But it is inc incredibly powerful and you're wise to be attentive to it and stay centered in doing the things you're doing. But it also, yeah. it because we're all part of the soul group, the soul group has facets of this happening as well. And they too have to choose what we do. Right. Again, you, everyone here is doing the anchoring thing. It is cannot be overstated how important it is that every spiritual group, that everybody at, anchor these things, clear our own lives, because as we do, it clears it for the soul group and it truly does make it so the path for everyone can be a bit more elevated than it would have been before. Right, so yeah. That's what that's about. Um, um, and some other things, but any, anyway, anyway, I don't want the other things that I want to talk about on, on the, that would be a private conversation. Okay, yeah. Okay. It's, not, Thanks, it's, it's, it's it's Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's just stuff that I it just they want to have in a one on one type stuff. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's where I guess I am and feel like things are slowly starting to get organized a little bit. And I don't feel so much chaos as I've been feeling. So um, well, great. That's good. Are yeah. things flowing smoothly in, in, in just in your outer world, in your, your expression in the world, doing things? Starting it's to. It's like a really slow start. Mm -hmm. But yes, I feel like there's like, you know, how a train backs into a train station and then it takes so long to, to reverse its direction and go forward. Mm -hmm. I feel like that it's reverse direction and it's just starting very slowly to go forward. So at least we're on forward momentum. Yeah. <laughs> it's very slow. <laughs> and as you said that the universe showed me, I'm going to try to make it from your point of view, you're on this track and you've got some choices you can do and i'm not sure if it's like ands or ors you know do this and this or this or this or combine them or something but there's some 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 elements of of work that you can do that can i don't know if, if they can be integrated in i think maybe it's your choice as well I, i'm not 100 percent sure and they don't want to give me any more clarity than what i'm just sharing with you now but they wanted you to be aware that it's coming up for you so if you say like oh man what's this all about that's what it's about yeah Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Actually, it is. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for being with it. Okay. And we have Pat. Do you have anything to share? Or anything I to do. Or? I do. I have a. I have several things. Um. Okay. I I almost forgot to bring this up, but yesterday, I was um, really being pushed by my guidance to get outside and take a little walk. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking and I just, I didn't go far. I just went to the end of our road, but I kept looking up at the sky and the blue. And then as I turned around to start heading back to my house, I looked up again and I just stood there and I go, oh, that's the hand of God. Mm. Clear as could be. So I'm getting, you know, like vibrations all over my body, just sharing it with you guys, because wow. I think it's very indicative of what we're entering into right now in these times that we're in. And it goes so much with what you've been bringing us towards. Mm -hmm. So I had that. And then I've been being inspired to call Lola for a couple weeks. Oh, so God. finally today, I called that dear little loved one of ours. And she is so lonely for all of us. And she just said, give everybody my biggest loves. And um, she's, um, she's making it, but she's pretty far out there. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I just talk to her like I talk to other people that are pretty far out there that, that we, we all know. And, you know, it went great and it was a beautiful conversation and everything, but I really think she could just use a little bit of energetic loving from everybody that knows her. And um, yeah, that's, that's with that one. And then I just wanted to add something um, to when we were talking about kind of uh, Franny was talking about the health thing and Matthew was, and I just 
was on a really interesting, um, first of all, I was led into this vagus nerve thing with which those of you that know me intimately know that I'm, I might be a Reiki master and do all the things I do with quantum touch, blah, blah, blah. But I never know the body parts or anything. So, so when I get to a body part that stands out and now vagus nerve is just coming up and all these things I look at and how to do these exercises. Okay, so because the vagus nerve literally hits on every single thing in your body. So I'm, I'm becoming aware this is really a big thing. Then today I'm, I'm on a, um, a gut show with all these doctors and they're all talking about how it's your second brain, which I knew, and it's all on the microbiome. And generally from cancer to anything else, people that have anything like Parkinson's, is it doesn't matter what I went through with the autoimmune and the allergies, it all has to do with that second brain and its communication to the real brain. And it's so important for all of us to be utilizing the microbiome things that are available out there. And I'm only on the first one and I probably heard 10 doctors already. So I just felt it was noteworthy and that's about it. I don't have any questions for me. Heck, after seeing the hand of God. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And, and cloud formations can do that. The angel formations. I, I know um, lots, of, lots of people here have seen them here. Um, they're, they're wonderful. Um, I, I think they actually have names. Like, you know, I, I'm calling them angel clouds, but I'm not 100% uh, sure what they actually have different names, but I've seen that as well. And images in the sky as well. I've seen that. Uh, somebody took a picture with a camera uh, of, of different angelic forms showing up and it shows up on film and there it is. So it's amazing. So thank yeah, you. Yeah. I, yeah, I believe that. I've seen I've seen lots of in them in the past five years, and I never had those gifts that were opened up to that before. So I like to share them when I get them because these things are never just for me. We are one, and they're for everybody. Yeah, and sharing it, you share your energy, and then whatever we're each of us is ready for, we can receive and 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 benefit from integrate into our own self. So yeah, it is thank awesome. you so much, Jeff. Well, thank you for sharing. Wow. Well, we got, we, we did everyone just, um, I don't have a lot more to share other than this energy coming in. And I like the, you know, I like what Kathy said, um, you know, the lagging indicator bringing that up is that, that it really is doing that and it's kind of dissipating it. And I think there's going to be some more effort by the, those who wish, to maintain the lesser energies, but I just, the, the, the light always wins and it's coming in and it's diffusing it and, and raising us up. And of course, that's a wonderful thing, but it, whatever they're doing, they've done before and we're kind of experiencing it now, but I, I'm not seeing, at one point it looked like it, the, 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 the negative energies, if you want to call them the discord were, the soul, you know, part of for the soul group and the activities in, in our world and in our lives were much darker and heavier. And I was watching them, and I'm reversing it. Anyway, I could see them metaphorically, it was going to what my left, which meant it was, it was, you know, that was the positive direction for it to go because the light was diffusing it. And now that with this next wave coming in, it's, it's doing it even more. And, um, and of course, in our own lives, because these energies correspond to the soul group, because the soul group has its set of things happening and we're part of that and then we have our own lives and and it's just so at such accelerated times what a time to be in even though it can be somewhat tumultuous out there the spiritual growth we can achieve in a weekend now used to take months and years sometimes you know 100 years ago so wow what a what an opportunity what a time to be in it truly is a spiritual renaissance and i know i keep re overusing that but i just truly believe it so does anyone else have any some other thoughts, last questions, anything? I'll let you just jump in. I, Franny. Um, would you review the schedule for the rest of the month? Like I thought I had read that there's just one meditation this month uh, and not one in Kalispell, but then I couldn't find the email that said 
that address that. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do, because we've kind of learned lessons come the holiday seasons. We're going to do like we did last year, and everyone on this call is going to see the email if I haven't already sent it, maybe sitting in my draft folder. So we're going to do our Christ-like meditation here at the house. And you, well, Greg, we'd love to have you, but I'm not thinking you're probably going to show up. But And, and neither is Marcy, although we'd love to see you too. Take a plane ride and come on over and we'll meditate together. But we're going to do the monthly meditation here at the house on the 17th. We're going to put the um, meditation out online on the same time we always do, but we're not going to do one either at the at the um, uh, Creative Arts Center or down in the, in the Flathead. We've just discovered that as the holiday season comes, it comes that people have friends and families and shopping and last minute stuff, and we just found it you know it's just better to just invite people to the house and those who wish to come, we can do that and it'll be fine. Yeah, I can't hear you. You don't understand my hands. Huh? Yeah, it's all right. Um, it's fine. What's the rhythm that you're on for the Kalispell meeting? I had a friend ask about that. Is it like the third Friday or? It's the second. There, it's the second Friday. It's and then the we're second. the third, we're the third Friday. Okay. All right. And so you'll resume that in January then. We're looking to do so. Yes. Unless something okay. comes up. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Anyone else? I can go around. Um, Kathy and Dan, anything, any more thoughts? Just want to say thank you, Jeff. And it's so good to see all of you and hear all of you. Yeah. And thank cool. you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just so, so it's such a joy. I mean, every, all of us coming together, make this possible. I mean, the, it combines our energies and multiplies it. So thank you too. Everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Greg, do you have anything? Nope. Just want to wish everybody happy holidays. Nice to see you. All right. Matthew. Yeah, uh, great discussion. I might just um, uh, kind of uh, mention what I think it was Pat that was sharing so beautifully about the the, the connection with the, the brain and gut and the, 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 the um, there's a lot of great science and research showing into the gut brain. And then also want to just kind of mention too the, the brain of the heart that uh, maybe a lot of people don't know that the heart has its own brain as well. And really the evidence, there's really good evidence to show that when we become more coherent or centered in our heart, it seems to energetically help bring the whole body into coherence as well. So absolutely focusing on the gut and the gut flora is so important. Also focusing on the heart and mind, body, spirit, it's all so beautifully interconnected. So it's an honor to be here. Thank you, everybody. Well, thank you and for sharing. And you're right, the lower, we talked about the lower mental body, which ties to what Pat was talking about. And, and, the, and the heart knows all, you know, anymore when I want to test to see if a food or something, anything is right for, for like a Deborah is usually who I test it for. I will bring it next to the heart and you can tell if it, if the heart if it resonates with the heart and it, it accepts it. Great. But if it's like two magnets with the North ends pu pu pushing against each other, then we know, well, that's not right. That's not going to be good, but truly I agree with you. There's an intelligence innate in, in the, in the heart and, um, it, the heart knows all. I agree. It does. Um, Hawaii, Marcy, anything else to share? No, send everybody big, big aloha. Peace, peace, peace. Well, thank Love you. Love you guys so much. Well, yes, yeah, since first song, if we don't see you, blessings and light to everyone. Merry Christmas. This is the season of light, you know in the Christ consciousness and, and the light coming into the world. So what a beautiful thing. Thank you all for coming and sharing and just what a blessing you are to me. And um, until next month, we'll see you then. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy holidays. Everybody. Love you. Bye everybody. Good night.